Thank you, thank you, thank you, Commissioner. Uh, good morning, uh, Program Director Kennel. Those that have a right to sit, you may be seated. Good morning, National Commissioner, the Joint Chairpersons of the Night Joint. General Musikiti, General Sangweni, South African National Defense Force, and all other heads of other entities of the law enforcement, generals, but more so those that are foot soldiers that from here on they'll be having literally sleepless nights because they won't have time to sleep. Uh, you can see it's a big contingent of the news carrier. I hope we'll be carrying only good news because that's why we'll be producing on the good news. But more than anything, good morning to officers. All of you have a good morning. Good morning, officers. Good morning, officers. Officers, good morning. Morning, officers! Morning, General! Why this site is overshadowed by this site? Officers in parade! Good morning! Morning, I hope this energy we are showing the actual energy on the ground will be much better. Colleagues, last night the CIC, Commander-in-Chief, the real one, spoke with the nation last, last night. I'm not going to repeat what he said. But for him to go on behalf of the government of Republic of South Africa, to go on national TV, all channels and speak with the nation about the seriousness and prominence of these few days coming it tells you how much serious the matter is it has started we have several visitors that already are in the country is a huge expectation it's not the first time as South Africans that we have displayed the highest capabilities of hosting these kind of events. One event that everybody kept asking if we are capable to do was the World Cup. At the end of the day, by the time the World Cup ended, Nobody was asking that question. But the problem, whenever we're supposed to hold these events, this question keeps coming, even this time. Indeed, we are not undermining and watering down the seriousness of this event. I'm told that 51 heads of states and governments have been confirmed to be here in the country. That's not the small number of heads of government and heads of state. Almost people that would be here represent 40% of the world. When you put the core countries of BRICS as you know them, your China, People's Republic of China, your India, your Brazil, your Russia, your South Africa, and all those that have been invited and they shown keenness to join the BRICS family. To have 40% of the world all together in your one country, that is a serious challenge. But we are not scared. We are absolutely not scared. And nobody should be scared. We are ready 
we have been ready, we have been moving and walking this path for quite a long time now. As it starts tonight, at about 30 minutes towards midnight, the head of state of the People's Republic of China will be here and received at the highest level by the head of the state of Republic of South Africa. But you will also know that the head of state of the Republic, People's Republic of China is having his official presidential state visit that will start tomorrow at the Union Building before he joins the BRICS family. <coughs> it tells us that how they and other places and other cities and other places where people will be moving must be in the highest alert. Now the question has been asked, I don't know why, that this visibility and this movement and this sanitization to sterilize all criminality is here because of the BRICS the answer is no. We have been giving this information, we'll repeat. Since the 8th of May this year, we have unleashed the problem called Operation Chanela. Operation Chanela means sweep clean. And since that day, until yesterday, having not updated the numbers this morning, we have put people that are suspected to be criminals, serious criminals, wanted with the warrant of arrest, some for murder, some for rape, some for car hijack, some for truck hijack, some for assault, GPH and all. We have since then, up to yesterday, arrested 99,000 of them, 754. So we have been doing this job far before this event. But this Operation Chanela won't end there. When the BRICS is long gone and forgotten, we'll continue with our operations. As you have seen them, most of you have witnessed them, so we're not going to stop. So the question of us doing this for BRICS, absolutely, we can't deny it. We have upped our levels, we have upped our game, we have pushed up the, the, the capabilities, but we have been there all the time and you shall be there long after breaks. President spoke to all of us, you know what is expected of you. What is expected of you is to show that every person that visits us here is safe. Every person that is a citizen of this country is safe. It's simple, as the National Commissioner has said. Your job is to prevent combat criminality, but also uphold the law. After I have upheld the law as the Constitution instructs you to do, then you enforce it. That must be very clear. There is no way in constitution and legislation where it says you beg to enforce the law. It's very straight, you enforce the law. Anybody that gets out of the law, you protect the law and you enforce the law. But indeed, you will be friendly as you are, you will approach situation and all people that are here with the friendly faces, you are not just going to be law enforcers, but you'll be ambassadors. People will be asking the way, will be asking where to buy what, where to go where. As the members of the South African police, you are expected to know your geography here. You will help to make sure that you direct those people to the, to the correct direction. You want really irritate people where it's not necessary to do it. You will work with them. 
with a huge smile when it is necessary. But the smile will be definitely withdrawn when it's necessary. And the last instruction of the Constitution, as it says, you will enforce the law, you will just do and enforce the law. All of you, you will work for one South Africa. I know here there are many disciplines. I'm very glad that you have been all put together with one objective and one objective only to say that you made the days of all people that are here very enjoyable, comfortable, safe, and the days that will make those that have visited us to want to come back again. You go beyond the bricks, we have the information that many of them will want to stay after that and then keep that comfort there for them until they leave South Africa and make sure that you create the environment for all those that would have visited us to want to come back again in the country. Yourself, you are called upon to behave in the maximal kind of discipline. We expect you to be good ambassadors, good to yourself, go to the rest of South Africans, go to the rest of visitors, and make sure that you protect those that are looking upon yourself to be protected. The point that I can't not forget and fail to emphasize, that with the crime state that we have issued, it does show that women and children are still main victims. So, in all what you do, remember women and children are supposed to be safe for you to go an extra mile to make sure that those people are safe wherever they are as women. Squeeze out the criminality, open the space for people to enjoy life. Say to criminals, this is not your world. Say to criminals, this is what we'll do and show what it will do to them by making their life very much difficult. Calling on the management, and calling on the leadership of all the forces to be there, to work with them, to remind them, and also all those that they deviate and get out of their line of march to be reminded that that's not the way. Otherwise, make South Africa safe. Otherwise, make the wealth that is descending here, which is 40% of the wealth descending in South Africa, to say, indeed, South Africa is a place to be, not only now, but far beyond, far beyond the breaks and other events that might be here for us, but make South Africa home of the world. You are instructed. This place, from now on, until the last day of breaks, is a home of the world. So make the world feel welcome. Make the world comfortable. Make the world safe. That puts all together, our visitors, guests, and South Africans. That is in your hands. When they see you, they must see hope. When they see you, they must be imbued with the hope. Indeed, South Africa belongs to all of us that are here. And South Africa is safe for all of us. You are commanded to go and do the best for the country, the world, yourself, and all other people that will be our visitors. We command. Thank you very much.